tonight, a high-profile legal battle in Willacy County is holding up the judicial process. One man traveled from Indiana to be in court today, and he says he can't settle his three-year-old case. Becky Medellin has the story. Becky. Dozens of cases were supposed to be in court this morning, but the judge was a no-show. And it's because of those indictments handed down last week against the judge, Senator Eddie Lucio, and the vice president of the U.S., among others. Judge Magdalia Lopez won't be in court for the rest of the week. This is Lopez in court months ago, but Monday morning she wasn't on the bench. To our surprise, uh, nobody told us anything. So, you know, the 20-some lawyers outside were basically asking what's going on. I said, I don't know. Prosecutor Juan Guerra says Lopez canceled at the last minute without letting attorneys know. Lopez was supposed to hear all 40 of these cases. They're now postponed. They include this case, possession of marijuana. The defendant in this case, Dorvin Kinter. He says he drove all the way from Indiana to be in court for nothing. There was no prior notice or anything. I was just here two weeks ago. It costs a lot of money to come down here. You know what I mean? I travel all the way from Indiana and I show up here today and find out it's canceled. We talked with Judge Lopez's attorneys. They tell us she doesn't feel right hearing Guerra's cases. It was his grand jury that indicted the judge last week and he's the prosecutor on her case. One of Lopez's lawyers says the judge saw, quote, no need to create any more problems, end quote. Kinter says she did create a problem for him. He now has to wait until January for his day in court. And Judge Lopez is scheduled to be in court tomorrow morning as well. Her attorneys tell us she won't be there and she won't hear cases for the rest of this week. We're working to find out if a judge will be assigned to replace Lopez. In the sub-control room, Becky Medellin, News Channel 5 at 10. All right, well, some developments tonight in those indictments against Migdalia Lopez, Vice President Dick Cheney, and other public officials. You know, I'll show you some video now of last week's court hearing on those indictments. Another hearing will be held Monday, December 1st, to decide which judge will preside over the cases. More hearings are expected to follow to decide if Willacy County DA Juan Guerra can prosecute the cases, or even if the indictments will stick.